Okay, hi everyone. This is what we're just going to be making now. It's just a um, animating and animated object. Okay. So let's just go in. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to be making our uh, our little bug. I'll just make a, a very quick one here. Uh, right. Fire. Ah. Uh, Okay, just squash something up. Nothing uh, too too exciting at the moment. All right, there's a basic shape. Now let's just make uh, a wing. Now I should say, okay, just put ourselves into uh, polygons. All right, just for the moment. All right, there we go. Might just. Squeeze this down a bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller. All right. Okay, just close that in. Okay. It's a little bit different. All right. Pop that in. All right. There we go. Now I just want to click on it. Let's go to the face. All right. And okay, because we're working up here, we can just access our shortcut menu, edit mesh. Extrude. All right, let's just bring that out. Make it go out. Edit mesh. Uh, extrude. Oops. Too late. Oh, damn it. Right. Ah, okay. Good. Back again. Uh, I'm a bit confused here. Uh, Go back into face, edit mesh, and extrude again. Okay, and I'll just do one more edit mesh, extrude. Alright, so we're just getting that little simple shape here. Alright, now let's go back into object mode and uh, bring that up. Okay. There's our little wing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just now I'm going to just go up and edit and copy. All right, I'm not going to duplicate. Duplicating will cause problems. All right, make sure it's edit copy. All right, see nothing there. Now, once we've copied, we can go edit and paste. All right. So we've got one wing, and now we've got two wings. All right, now I'm just going to change my view. Okay, so I'm just going to go up into here. Click on this uh, green line here. So I've got my top. Hmm. All right. Now I'm going to press. D, D for December, just to change my pivot point. All right, and then I'm just going to move that over like so. I'm going to remember, I better change my pivot point for this one here as well. Okay, so they've both got pivot points in the middle. Okay, that was just using uh, D. Alright, so there's our basic shape. Now, one thing I should do is better make sure I go up to Window and Outliner. It just helps me see my stuff. And just look, I better give them all names. Okay. No, oh, that's cute. Okay. So, look, I'm just going to call that Body. wing left and here I'll call that wing right. Alright, there we go. So I've got three objects here and at least they now have got some names. My body, wing and wing. Okay, now I get ready to animate. Alright, 
So I'll select my first object here. Again, make sure that I'm down in my uh, timeline in my first one. Click it up just to about there and press S. Okay, that's my start and my finish is at the same place. S. All right. So hopefully you can see there. One and ten both have that red horizontal uh, hor vertical line. Okay, there we go. Now go back in, select on say about the fifth halfway point, go down and press S again. All right, there we go. All right, so we're just got getting the uh, the one movement there. All right, now do the same over here. Bring that up, and I'm going to press S. Press S again. My start and finish, and at my halfway point, bring it down and S. All right, so there we go. Quite simple. All right, now I want to say a hundred frame animation. All right, so let's go down here. Let's click on my preferences and make this say 100 and 100, not 1,100. All right, just up there, 100 and 100. Save. All right. Now, if I go and have a look, all right. It's only doing one um, one flap for every hundred frames. I want that flap to be keep going on forever. All right. So again, I've got to get back into frame one. Now, again, let's go to my outliner and I'll spec the wing left. All right. Now, what I want to go to is just down here. This up and there. Usually it shows for me. All right, I just want my graph. Yep, there it is. There's my graph. Now I just need to select this. And what I do now is curves, post infinity, and cycle. Right, curves, post infinity, cycle. Good. Now we'll have a look. Wow. I've got to get this right. Sorry. All right. And if we have a look, now that just keeps flapping forever. All right. So let's go back into our first one. Sorry, a second wing. Green, white. Make sure we go back into our first one. Yep. Go back into here. Okay, just having a bit of trouble with my mouse. All right, select it, and again, curves, post infinity, and cycle. Curves, post infinity, and cycle. So now it's flapping uh, quite nicely. All right, very simple then after that. Last thing we do, let's select all our objects and now we edit and group. All right, control G. Okay, and I'll call that a butterfly. All right, now it should just, we click it, select it. Still working. All right, so there's our start. We press S. Now let's go to our end. All right, and press S. All right, so now when we go, there it is. Okay, so to do that, again, 
the key thing here is your curves, post infinity, and cycle. All right, there we go. And you'll find that in your graphs, which is over here. I don't know why it's not showing up, but it's your, I can't do it in my, okay, it's your graphs. Okay, there you go.